We have to deal with a whole other set of issues with, with discrimination and things like that. And we're just, we're normal people. Thousands of same-sex couples have legally gone and married since the Supreme Court decision last year. Now, today marks the first anniversary of the historic decision. A couple right here in the Valley renewed their vows. CBS 4's Joelle Flores was there and joins us in the studio with more. Joelle. Tiffany, the chapter of this love story legally began exactly one year today. While this San Juan couple has been together for more than nine years, the journey to this point wasn't easy. Mrs. and Mrs. Hernandez Sanate. These two women met on social media back in 2007. Ever since then, their guests say they've been inseparable. It's been wonderful. It's, I, I can honestly say that the first time, first time that I met her, I fell in love with her, and I believe in first, love at first sight. We're just, we're normal people. We have a family, we're, we're family oriented. It's all about our kids, you know? We just wanna live and love, and you know, we're, we're, we're in love like everyone else. The two tell CBS4 they remember the day they heard the Supreme Court ruled in favor of same-sex marriage. She had proposed to me a month earlier on my birthday, and we were planning on doing a destination wedding. We thought Texas is going to be the last day, the last day. It's just something so surreal. You know, to this day, sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, I can't believe we're married in Texas. <laughs> Nancy was on a business trip with her boss when she heard the news and immediately they returned to the valley so that Nancy could legally marry the love of her life. We get in a car accident and then I tell her, oh my God, I'm sorry, baby, I'm not going to make it. And my boss is like, I promise you I'm going to get you there. If I had to take you to the courthouse, I'm taking you straight there. And that's what happened. She took me straight to the courthouse. In light of recent tragic events, the couple has a special message for everyone part of the LGBT community. At this time, we cannot sit down and cross our hands and go back into the closet, you know, because we're scared. Well, not everyone is celebrating. Several groups continue working to overturn the ruling. However, the couple says that they want everyone who has struggled with their sexual orientation to not give up and to stay strong against discrimination. In the studio, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.